Hi guys I am Bray and welcome to my channel. Before the starting of video please like and subscribe my channel. During its three decades in service with the United States Navy the Grumman F-14. Tomcat more than lived up to the role it was designed for drawing blood in combat and even getting its moment in the spotlight in the film Top Gun designed to incorporate the air combat experience. Learned during the Vietnam War the F-14 was the first of the American team series fighters that included the F-15 Eagle F-16 Fighting Falcon and the F-A-18 Hornet. The two-seat carrier-based multi-role fighter was developed after the United States Congress halted the development of the F-111B along with the tactical fighter experimental program, while the goal of that program was to supply both the United States Air Force and the United States Navy with the planes to fit each of their respective needs the Navy was opposed. Instead the Navy called for a request for proposals for its naval fighter experimental program which required a tandem two-seat twin-engine air-to-air fighter. Grumman was awarded the contract in January 1969 the result was the F-14. Tomcat named so partially to honor Navy. Admiral Thomas Tomcat Connolly who called upon Congress for the Navy to develop a carrier-based fighter. The F-14 which made its first deployment in 1974 arrived as a supersonic twin-engine variable sweep wing two-place fighter that was designed to engage enemy aircraft in all weather conditions as well as at night. It was designed to track up to 24 targets simultaneously the plane featured an advanced weapon system that includes a powerful Hughes AWG-9 radar which used in conjunction with the Phoenix AIM-54 missiles can pick out and destroy a chosen target from a formation at a distance of over 100 miles. Additional armaments include a variety of other interceptor missiles rockets bombs and an internal M61A1 Vulcan 20 mm Gatling-style rotary cannon. With its variable sweep wing the F-14 could match the speeds of other aircraft as needed and for takeoff and low speed flight the wings would shift to the front while for supersonic speeds the wings could tuck backward. Because of its versatility it served as an air superiority fighter fleet defense interceptor and even tactical reconnaissance platform. The F-14 was initially equipped with two Pratt Whitney TF-30 augmented turbofan engines each rated at 20,900 pounds of thrust which enabled the aircraft to attain a maximum speed of Mach 2.34. The F-14 would normally fly at a cruising speed for reduced fuel consumption which was important for conducting lengthy patrol missions. The cockpit has two seats arranged in tandem outfitted with Martin Baker. Rocket propelled ejection seats rated from zero altitude and zero airspeed up to 450 knots. The canopy is spacious and fitted with four mirrors to effectively provide all-round visibility. Only the pilot has flight controls the flight instruments themselves are of a hybrid analog digital nature the cockpit also features a head-up display to show primarily navigational information. Several other avionics systems such as communications and direction finders are integrated into the AWG-9S radar display. The Tomcat drew its first blood in August 1981 during the Gulf of Sidra incident in which two F-14s were attacked by a pair of Libyan Su-22 fighters both fighters were shot down but the events would be replayed nearly eight years later when in January 1989, another pair of F-14 shot down two Libyan MiG-23 floggers again over the Gulf of Sidra. The United States Navy continued to rely on the F-14 throughout the 1990s and early 2000s where it was utilized in a strike escort and reconnaissance role in Operation Desert Storm as well as Operation Deliberate Force and Operation Allied Force in the conflicts in the former Yugoslavia. 
the F-14's final combat mission took place in February 2006 when two Tomcats were used in a bombing mission in Iraq when the F-14 was retired from service with the Navy and supplanted by the Boeing F-A-18 EF Super Hornet the Tomcat remains in use with the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force. Only a handful of the planes which were purchased by the Imperial Iranian Air Force in the 1970s remain in operation. But according to reports these aircraft have flown escort missions in Syria, proving that even after nearly 50 years, the Tomcat still has sharp claws. A highly versatile aircraft. Advancements during the Cold War in Soviet long-range patrol and bomber. Aircraft dictated a requirement for a fleet defense fighter that could engage high-altitude bombers from well beyond visual range. According to the National Naval Aviation Museum the iconic F-14 Tomcat was Grumman's answer, needing an interceptor's high speed while carrying the heavy ordnance. Grumman produced a highly effective variable sweep wing of the F-14 enabling it to operate at a wide range of air speeds. According to Charlie Brown a member of the F-14 design team and Grumman test pilot the Navy specs called for a top speed of Mach 2.34 but the Tomcat was tested for Mach 2.5. Why it went away? Computer technology has vastly improved processing speeds and inability to perform procedural functions organize information and make determinations otherwise left to humans targeting sensors engineered to integrate with navigational and threat information more independently which were already emerging to a great extent by the early 2000s may have lessened the need for a human naval aviator to travel in the plane the f-35 for instance was already moving along with engineering and development by 2006 and the F-A-18 was emerging as an improved high-tech single-seat aircraft with advanced avionics and a different single pilot configuration sensor fusion such as that enabled by the F-35 massively reduces what's called the cognitive burden upon pilots needing to analyze variables and make real-time combat decisions the more otherwise time consuming procedures computers can perform the fewer humans need to occupy time faculties and mental energy to complete functions easily done by computers. If targeting navigational and sensor data can be aggregated and organized for a human decision maker is done by an F-35 the need for human cognition massively decreases. However with a single pilot an F-18 or F-35 can still operate with the unique and necessary attributes fundamental to human cognition therefore optimizing performance. Reducing the human load of course lessens the risk to pilots but may also make an aircraft more maneuverable, faster and potentially more agile in the sky. Avionics electronics sensors and weapons can be easily upgraded something which would lead people to make the case for continuing newer variants of the Tomcat yet retiring a two-seater structural configuration may have nonetheless been necessary to enable improved aerial performance for future aircraft. The Super Tomcat had things played out differently and even more advanced version of the Super Tomcat could have been taken to the skies described as an evolutionary upgrade of the F-14 the Saint-21 Super Tomcat for the 21st century would have added more fuel capacity and even an Acer radar that had been developed for the cancelled A-12 attack aircraft the Super Tomcat 21 would be a modification of the original F-14 design and it was to feature GEF 110-129 motors that would allow the Tomcat to super cruise achieve Mach 1 plus without using afterburner continuously at Mach 1.3 Additionally the jet would have an upgraded APG-71 radar modified in a enlarged control surfaces and enlarged leading edge route extensions that would 
house more fuel and enhance the jet's low speed handling capabilities. The Super Tomcat was proposed as a lower cost alternative to the Navy. Advanced tactical fighter but it could have been more it would have likely led to a host of even more advanced Tomcats, including an attack Super Tomcat which could have featured nuclear weapon capability and bomb stores underneath the engine Nosilus. However none of it was to be the Navy decided to fill the role of fighter attack aircraft with the F-A-18EF Super Hornet and the F-14 Tomcat was finally retired on September 22, 2006. The Super Tomcat 21 instead remains one of the more fascinating examples of what could have been safety. Thanks for your attention if you enjoy from this video please like and subscribe.